Marriage is commitment to love. 24-7. Whatever you are doing, wherever you are, it is a commitment to love. Hi guys, it's Janice. Today is December 27 and it's our 9th wedding anniversary. And as I reminisce that beautiful day of our wedding, I realized that unfortunately, I was not able to wear any perfumes on my wedding day. Believe it or not, everything went fast that day, especially during the preparation, the photo shoots on every chances, people coming in to greet us, wedding suppliers all around the room, and of course, my family and friends all having a great time. So that's why today I wanted to share these 5 perfumes that would be my top choices to wear on my wedding day. Like back then, if I had known these perfumes, I would definitely bring these 5 perfumes and will just choose on that day. Because I think these fragrances would all be perfect on my wedding theme which is Winter Wonderland. Although one of these perfumes is not for winter but I think it still deserves to be on my top 5 wedding perfumes. Also, I won't be talking about notes in here except for one perfume which is new. So most of these perfumes, I want to describe the vibe or like on which part of my wedding would I imagine wearing the scent. So before anything else, if you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for clicking my thumbnail. My name is Janice and here I talk mostly about fragrances. So if you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, Thank you for the support and welcome back. So number 5 on the list is La Nuit Tresor à la Folie from Lancome. And this is actually new to my collection and I think I haven't talked about this perfume before. This is an absolutely amazing fragrance. It smells different from the La Nuit Tresor EDP but I still get the DNA of the original. So it has opening of red currant, pink pepper, pear, and bergamot, middle notes of damask rose, violet, peony, and jasmine, and the dry down of bourbon vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, nutmeg, ambroxan, patchouli, and woody notes. So this perfume gives you both freshness and vanilla gourmand at the same time. However, the vanilla is really the star on this perfume, making it a perfect December scent. So this is sweet, balsamic, and fruity since I can smell the red currant. And this is also a little bit spicy because of the pink pepper but very soft. And with the vanilla in the background, it's way smoother and well blended. It's very cozy, warm, comforting, yet versatile and easier to wear than the Eau de Parfum. This is not a boring scent and if I will wear this on my wedding, People would see me as a sweet yet lively, fun, exciting, high-spirited bride. It's also kind of seductive, playful, little bit flirtatious scent and with such a good performance and longevity as well so would definitely last all day. Number 4 is another vanilla perfume and that's Mancera Rose's Vanille. And as you know, I just got this as Christmas present from my husband and I'm really in love with this fragrance. Well, I must admit that I'm not a fan of the opening because on the first few seconds, this smells synthetic but the dry down is super lovely. It's a very sweet perfume, so something like dipping a fresh rose into caramelized sugar added with vanilla. And there's also a little bit dark in here, maybe from the cedar, making it a little deep and woody. This perfume lasts forever as well and has an amazing projection and performance. And this is the perfect scent that I could see myself wearing while I'm holding my bouquet of red roses. It's like my scent is saying to everyone that the red rose bouquet smells amazing and so was the bride. But again, this doesn't smell like a fresh rose bouquet but it embodies that character of a sweet, alluring, gorgeous lady. Third on the list is Tomford Soleil Blanc which is also one of my Christmas presents and this is a summer fragrance but I would wear this on my wedding day if I've known this earlier. This is such an enjoyable scent you guys. It's warm, creamy, floral, and coconutty. 
And this is the perfume that I can imagine wearing while we are doing the outdoor photo shoots after the church ceremony. And for some reason, whenever I see the photo of my wedding gown, this is the scent that I wanted to match with it. Well, maybe because of the color white, I don't know. And maybe because this perfume is white, floral, feminine, sophisticated fragrance. This smells clean but luxe and definitely this will be my number one perfume for our honeymoon since we went to El Nido Palawan and enjoyed the beautiful beaches. I love this perfume and it's just sad that I discovered it too late. Number two is Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum and everyone knows that this is a gorgeous perfume. And I agree with Jeremy Fragrance that this is the perfume of the wife, not the girlfriend, not fiancé, but an elegant woman whom you'll take serious commitment. This is a beautiful aromatic lavender vanilla perfume. It's uh, very welcoming, it's warm, and so feminine. And I don't mind if this is not a strong perfume that will have the best projection. Well, maybe if I wore this on my big day, I will just carry a small decant on my bride bag so I can spray if I have the chance. This definitely smells classy, confident woman and I want this to be my scent while me and my husband are exchanging vows in front of our dear Lord and all of our loved ones because that is the moment that I was feeling confident to face the next chapter of my life, you know. So this is the perfect scent for that scene. So my top choice as my wedding fragrance is none other than Gentle Fluidity Gold. Well, honestly, it was hard to choose between this and Mon Guerlain EDP to be my number one wedding perfume. But I chose Gentle Fluidity Gold because this smells more luxurious. This is an amazing masterpiece of delicious airy vanilla. It smells a little sweet, a little floral, and a little fresh as well. So it's gentle yet creamy, musky, cozy vanilla scent. It's alluring and I want it to be my signature scent where people on my wedding will remember me whenever they smell this beautiful perfume. It's a silent charmer so it's not like other perfumes that are really in your face that is too strong so this one it announces its presence in pure elegance. And I think this is the perfect scent that I would wear as I make my entrance and walk down the aisle. So this is my Here Comes the Bride scent. This is very captivating, inoffensive, and luxurious perfume. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as seeing some of my wedding clips. I really love watching wedding videos because it is such a beautiful celebration of love. And I would love to hear your thoughts and you may write it down on the comment section on what is your or what was your wedding perfume and why or how did you choose that fragrance. I want to hear your recommendations. And again, I will appreciate if you will hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Take care and I'm wishing you all a blessed new year. Happy holidays. Bye. I love you so much. I love you so much.